thrown away. So that was nice and quick. Uh, just refueled, and we're good to go again. And as we came from the road, just clearance and taxi. Oscar Delta Bravo, say again please. Oscar Delta Bravo, request taxi and clearance. Oscar Delta Bravo, taxi to holding point one seven. Taxi to holding point runway one seven. Oscar the Bravo. Okay, taxi light is on. Parking brake is released. And to the airport. Welcome to the next DA62 Cross Atlantic ferry flight video. In this one we're gonna fly the short hop from Malmö to Engelholm, so I keep it short here too, and let's go flying. Oscar Delta Bravo, after departure, turn right, heading 290, climb 3000 feet, scope 7032. Oscar Kuhne from Delta Bravo, after departure, turning right, heading 290, climbing 3000 and scoping 7032. Oscar Delta Bravo. 7032, 3000 feet is set, and after departure, heading 290. So, my brakes are working. Taxi checker is been indicating zero horizon was level in the turn, QNH 1011. And the uh, compass heading uh, is checked. Pick off briefing. It's gonna be runway 17, flaps, take off. And after departure, right turn, heading 270 and climbing 3000. Emergency procedures in case of any malfunctions before 78 knots. My call out stop. Throttle to idle, brakes and stop on the runway in case of engine fail after liftoff. With this length of runway, I could actually try to reland, and if not available, we do PPA. And uh, minimum speed 89 knots, blue line speed. And then we come back for relanding. And in case of any animal functions, we come back for the relanding. Request vectors for the ILS on runway 17 now, I believe. So that's the cut 2. Oscar Delta Bravo, are you ready for departure? Negative, I need 2 more minutes at the only point. Roger, report one ready. We'll go. So, the wind comes from there, so I will put the aircraft into 90 degrees to the wind. Thank you for flight. So, take sled is off and parking brake is hit. As the pre-takeoff checklist is pretty similar to the DA42, I just decided to uh, make it fast forward here. So, we do parking brake off. And Oscar Kuhn from Delta Bravo is fully ready uh, after landing traffic. Oscar Delta Bravo, hold position and the new QNH 1011. QNH 1011 and holding position, Oscar Delta Bravo. And Oscar Delta Bravo, yeah, still hold position and you're re cleared after departure, turn right, direct to Dapsi, 3000 feet. Re cleared, right turn direct Dapsi and still 3000, Oscar Delta Bravo. Oscar Delta Bravo. Where the fuck is Topsy? Oscar Delta Bravo, confirm Delta, Alpha, Victor, Bravo, Sierra, India. Uh, Babsy, Bravo, Alpha, Bravo, Sierra, India. Babsy. Babsy, got it, thank you. Babsy, there it is. We load the route and to the fourth flight. And now it looks correct. Oscar Delta Bravo, line up runway 17 and wait. Lining up runway 17 and wait, Oscar Delta Bravo. Landing taxi, pump 1, pump 2, pitot hit flaps, takeoff brakes are off. Squawk uh, transponder is checked. And runway 17, projector looks clear and the runway is identified. So since we're clear direct to Babsy, I can move the runway heading. Runway heading is checked and answered. Delta Bravo, wind 260 degrees, 1 2 knots, runway 17 right and out, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 17 right and out, Oscar Kuhn, Delta Bravo. 
Our main is checked, announce the panel is checked, wind from the right, aileron into the wind, and take off power. Here we go. Take off power is set. And the engine instruments are checked. Airspeed is alive, two times, 50 cross checked. And rotate. Positive rate. Brakes. And no chance for reland. Key up. Here is up. So entering IMC. Opening the alternate here. Clamp power. And we engage the level change and go into, let's say, 110 knots is fine. And for now we do the heading mode. Autopilot is on. Speed checks flips up. And now flight plan, Bobsy, direct enter, enter. Nav mode. And he's doing a left turn look. Then we do the right turn. It's always interesting to see what, or to, it's good to know what the aircraft is doing, right? Because if you just hit enter, enter and go Bobsy, the instruction was to go right turn. So this is what I now did. And now we do enter uh, flight plan, direct to Bobsy, enter, enter, and hit the nav mode, and do autopilot on again. Now he's gonna go to the right, approaching 3000 feet, look at the wings, no eyes, very good. So, we got GPS direct Bobsy, autopilot, yaw damper, flight level change, 110 knots, we're climbing 3000 and approaching 3000. Then we do the checklist, gears up, flaps are up, fuel pump, left, right, clamp our set, Arden there is open. Landing takes light is off. Oscar Delta Bravo, contact Sweden Control, 134980. Over to Sweden, 134980, thanks Mickey, Oscar Delta Bravo. Hi Sweden Control, hello again, Oscar, clear from Delta Bravo, 3000 feet, inbound Bobsy. Oscar, clean from Delta Bravo, Sweden, radar contact. I get a nice plane wash here, huh? Very nice. And now we already have to prepare for the next uh, airport. So we go Engelon. And frequency is gonna be. So, first of all, it's gonna be an ILS 14, I believe. Um. Engelholm approach is 132.455 So let's brief the approach I will skip this briefing here because I got a different approach then Okay guys, so uh, when I get closer it's gonna be in uh, 20 minutes I'm gonna turn back on the cameras and then we'll land in Engelholm See you later So guys it's runway 3-2, of course, in use and hanging on, and I'm doing the RMP. Uh, I just got it for one from one minute ago, and that means new briefing. Approach is the RMP 3-2, flaps landing, it's gonna be an approach speed is 90 to 95. After XA926, um, we can continue to 2000, then we stay at 2000 to Tango Alpha 604 and then we start the 3 glider down to the minimums of 350s. Let's stop here for a second. Why did I just say minimums of 350? So why did I take the LNAV minimum for 342 instead of just flying the LPV approach with the lower minimum? So why am I choosing a 2D approach instead of a 3D approach? For that take a closer look on the upper part of the chart. You will see the chart date and the effective date. And the effective date here is the 24th of March 2022. So I believe they implemented the LPV approach in March 2022. So when I flew here in January 2022, the LPV was just not available. Mr. Approach is straight at Tango Alpha 801 and then right turn 
and climb to 2000 and hold it Idexo. Good. Minimum 350 is set and yeah, cruising along. And I'm actually already cleared for the approach, so I can arm the approach. But there is it's it's an Elnaf only, so I just recognize I did a mistake at the minimums. Elnaf only 480. So it closed Vertical off. Vertical track. Yes. So 2000 Vina Fesamt. Since we're cleared for the approach, I can descend to Exena 2600, and we will do so. Vipath is capturing any second. Now, and down we go. So left turn to Tango Alpha 605. And now we can send 2000. So, landing taxi, fuel pump 1, pump 2, checklist, landing that received, altimeter is 1011, Comnav FMS, FMS tower is 127, 105, upright, upright, released, as required, gear test is done, landing taxi light is on, fuel selectors, fuel pumps are on, and uh, that's good. So approaching 2000, now we level off, 2000 here, one mile to go and we can start the descent. We do full defrost on the nose and vertical speed, Four my 0 0.4 miles, 3, 2, 1. And we descend 500 feet, 100 knots. And to cheat a bit, I can put the flight path vector exactly on the runway. That's very cool. So to get myself ready for landing, get down. Free green, speed is checked. Flaps take off. Ground speed of 88 or 90, so with 600 is too much. We do 500 feet. And four miles, we should have 1,380. Four miles, 1,380. Perfect. Oscar Delta Bravo, wind 260 degrees, 16 knots, uh, runway 32, clear to land, runway surface condition 555 wet. Clear to land, runway 32, Oscar Delta Bravo. And I see the ground already. Speed is checked, flaps landing. And now I could do the final check. Three green flaps landing, rudder trim is as I need it. And I have the runway inside. Autopilot off. Minimums, minimums. Continue. Very gusty here, huh? I'm home. Ha. I'm home. Okay, that the Bravo uh, can uh, make it runway via Mike and Charlie for eight and west. Mike and Charlie, and I have an appointment with the flight club, so I, I will stand there for the night if that's okay for you. That the Bravo, yeah, of course. Then it's Mike and Charlie for flight uh, club. Mike, Charlie, flight club, thank you. So after landing, landing light, pump 1, pump 2, P2, hit flaps up, alternate is closed. Welcome to Engelholm. Before we finish, I just want to tell you a quick fun fact about Engelholm and its connection to Austria. This airfield used to be a military base from the Swedish Air Force and since the Austrian Air Force was using Swedish airplanes, the Austrian pilots came to Engelholm to get trained on their airplanes. So yeah, there is a connection between Engelholm and Austria. So then we do the checklist. Alternate they're closed, pitot hit off, flaps up, fuel pumps are off, the icing system is off. Landing takes alerts as required. So guys, welcome to Sweden! To my home turf. Engelholm. That's crazy to be here. 
Okay, so guys, uh, thank you for today, and let's see you tomorrow. See ya.